Assalamu alaikum, you all, Kultus here. Imagine yourself sitting outside on a gorgeous summer eve, sitting outside, soaking in the atmosphere, only to be belted with bugs left, right, and center that seem to have a one way ticket towards your mood lighting. Now, why do certain insects carry out this irritating yet slightly entertaining to watch behavior that often results in their rabbit demise. There are multiple theories surrounding that topic, so let's get into it. Voila! An organism response to light with motion is known as phototaxis. Now, there are two genres of these organisms. The first being the positively phototactic organisms such, a, such as moths. They move towards light sources. Um, negatively phototactic uh, organisms, on the other hand, they tend to go away from the light. And the best example for the negatively phototactic organism being the cockroaches. The cockroaches that get you chills. I have phobia myself from the N6 in general, specifically those things. And yeah, so I'm getting goosebumps right now, so yeah. Um, however, they tend to take shelter uh, within the dark areas of your room. Once you go to a room, you will find a cockroach just crawling under your bed or anything um, that they cannot have light in that place. Yeah, so they tend to go to the place that does not have light at all. Uh, so they avoid the light, meaning that they are negatively phototactic organism. Now, popular theory proposed to account for positive phototaxis in insects is that the unnatural sources of light affect having to affect the internal navigation system of these organisms of and that may be caused by the artificial light nocturnal insects such as most moths evolved to use natural light sources such as the moon or the stars in order to navigate now these insects tend to navigate by keeping themselves aligned at a certain angle relative to a light source. Now talking physics, since the moon is so far away and the insects are really small, what ends up happening is that the angle of the light stays the exact same as the insect flies along. But this isn't the case with smaller light sources such as a candle flame or a light bulb. Now this is because the angle to the light source changes as the insect just passes the source. So in an attempt to keep themselves aligned, the insect ends up just flying around the, the light source in circles. This theory has a couple of problems though. However, since unnatural light sources such as man-made fires that have been around for thousands and thousands of years now we therefore might expect the natural selection would have blocked out the insects that engaged in this suicidal behavior furthermore many more species are not in fact migratory meaning that they do not travel or they do not do the migration process. Therefore, it doesn't actually make sense that they will all go on to use the moonlight for navigation. Another idea that has been proposed by the science community is that the unobstructed light sources indicates that the pathway is clear. Therefore, insects fly directly towards the light source in an attempt to avoid obstacles. This could explain why some insects seem to kamikaze into light bulbs. Now, some of you might not be familiar with kamikaze. Uh, it's a Japanese term for a squad in the army. The Japanese army back in World War II 
uh, there were like a suicide squad, basically. Uh, a, the kamikaze uh, squad, they will crash their planes into a ship or uh, another plane, it's a suicidal mission. So the, the term of kamikaze, that uh, suicidal squad, was taken into the English dictionary to be used as an, a suicidal act. Some people have postulated that since many flowers replicate UV light, may be attracted to artificial light sources that also emit small amounts of UV light. And indeed, it's widely known that the bugs or insects actually tend to get attracted to the UV light rather than the longer wavelength, such as the yellow or the red uh, or the infrared colors. Now a final intriguing idea suggested that back in the 70s by an entomologist proposes that moths actually mistake certain light sources for female moths. You see, so while this may sound quite bizarre, it was discovered that the infrared light spectrum given by candle flames actually has a few common frequencies along with the light given by the pheromones uh, of female moths. So therefore, the male moth may dive into a candle flame just because they mistook it to be a female. Looking for a mate, basically. Now, a female is looking for a mate, so unfortunately for them, instead of getting lucky, they end up pretty much burned to death, which is quite sad. That's it, you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, comment, please. Subscribe. Take care. However, please, I have a piece of advice for you. If you by any chance are bothered in your life at any moment by any situation just remember the, the life of bugs and insects I mean they die to mate and they die to just like give birth or something uh, the, I mean the black widow kills uh, the husband once they just mate so think about it and know how blessed you are to be a human being actually it's a blessing so yeah Thank you very much, thank you and assalamu alaikum, take care.